What is up guys, welcome back to 25 Days of Flutter. In this 10th video, we are going to take a look at navigation and how we can navigate to another route. So here in main.dart, I have a simple app and it has two routes. We have our first route, which is a class home, and then we have our second, which is another class second page, both of which have a body of an elevated button and we need to write the code for the on pressed event that will send us from the home page to the second page and then back. So how we're going to do this is we are going to use what's called the navigator. So on pressed we can say navigator dot push we want to push the context, comma, material, page, root. And then the builder here will be context. And then we can use arrow notation to send us to the second page, just like that. So now when we click this, we are pushing onto our navigator, this material page root and this brings us to the second page. So let's see if it works. There you go. So it brought us to it, and you'll notice that by doing that, Flutter automatically added this trailing arrow. It is not in the app bar. So that's a nice feature, and we can actually use that to go back, as you can see. But we want to write code so this button works. And we can do that very easily, again, using the navigator. So we'll say navigator. And this time we want to say dot pop. So we are popping the current uh, root and then we'll pass in the context, just like that. And it's that simple. Now if we click this, we go back, just like that. So what if we wanted to navigate to another route and send some sort of data along with that? Well, we can do that. Let's go ahead and create a class call this data, we'll say final int id and final string description. And then we need a constructor, this dot id, this dot description. Now that we have our class, we can come down to our class home and let's add a reference to that. Let's say final data, data, and then we need to add our constructor, Let's say key, key, comma, at required, this dot data, and then we'll make a reference to our super class, passing in that key. Perfect. Now, you'll see we're getting a warning here, the parameter data is, is required. So let's go ahead and pass some data to this home route. We'll say data is equal to our data class. We'll give it an ID of one, and we can say the description for ID one, just like that. Now, down here for our builder, we wanna pass that data that we have to our second page. So we need to do the same thing in our second page class. Let me go ahead and copy this because it will be the same and just changed home to second page. Now we get the same thing, parameters not defined. So we need to pass in our data. We can say data and that is equal to this data right here. So now we are passing that through. Let's go ahead and display that over here. So we'll just change this text here to data dot, and we can access the ID or description, we'll say dot description. And then up here for our home class, let us display the data dot ID in the text, data dot ID. And it's giving us an error because that is an integer. So we need to convert that to a string, dot to string. Now, 
we should see our one here, and that is this data here that we're passing in, hard-coded, of course. So we have one, and if I click this, I should be brought to another root, and we see the description for that. So that's how you navigate to different routes and pass data. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at how we can build a bottom navigation bar and have different pages in our app. So navigation via routes is good, but we ultimately want to have something like a navigation bar and have different pages that the user can switch between. So we're going to do that in the next video.